right, next up, news. Excel news. news. Now, now, I know, I, I know you're thinking, gosh, how do I get... I mean, first off, this show is, is top-notch, right? How do I get my right. news on the show? How, how can it happen? Can you give me a little background music there, uh, Sylvia? How can I get... <laughs> how can... <laughs> How can I get my news? If, if I'm putting out a template, if I'm putting out a, a new formula, if I'm putting out training, any of that sort of stuff, how do I get that on Excel TV? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You get a hold of us at new at ExcelTVShow.com. So here's what I got for you today. I went into our trusty news at ExcelTVShow.com email address, and I got something for you. Hold on, man. Let's see if I can uh, pull this up. Screen share. <laughs> Bam! Can you see that? Nope. Mm. What do you see? You don't see, you don't see anything? You. Oh, here we go. Okay. You see the spreadsheet, spreadsheet guru? guru? Okay. So, uh, so I get this email from Chris Macro. Can you still see me? Mm -hmm. Now we okay. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, good. Okay. So from Chris Macro. Now I don't know if, if that's his real name or not. Yeah, that's what he got goes online about. His name's Chris Macro. It seems like That's a good uh, Excel name if seems, I ever heard one. Seems sketchy. Maybe his maybe his real name is really Joey Macro or something. Maybe he's just <laughs> kind of mixing it up for his online identity. But listen, he's got this new template out. If you go over here to his to his website, the spreadsheetguru.com forward slash the exporter. And what this thing does is pretty slick. It's got, a, it's got a cool video here that shows you how to do it. Uh, you can get kind of a, you can get it now and get an unlocked version, all that sort of stuff. But here's what you do: you, you, say you have a ton of data, right? And you have a few different spreadsheets, and you and you want to you want to be able to you know export it in different ways, and you want to be able to email it. He's created a template that kind of does all of that for you. Very nice. And so, you know, you can remove content that's outside of the print area. And in this video, he shows you how to do it. Remove. So you have, let's say, you have this, you have this ugly spreadsheet, right? It's got, it's got some tables in it, but outside of, outside of where the data is at, there's like comments out on the side, and there's things outside of the print area. And so you want to export stuff, and you want to send an email, but you don't want all that ugly from the side. You only right. want the pretty that's right. in the middle, right? You only want to send, you only want to send the fruit. You don't right. want to send the shell. Right? And who wants shell? Nobody wants shell. You want fruit. Dirt and tweeds. You don't right. want tweeds. You don't want none of that. And so what this does, just by clicking on these things, it like it, it removes all that sort of it removes the clutter. It makes Ooh. it oh so nice. Wow. It's sweet for you. Oh, sorry. No, that was good. That was dramatic. I like that. No, that was that was called drama, yeah. And, and here you can come stuff. in. Really you can, yeah. You can save it, and then you can go ahead and say, hey, I want to go ahead and email it to you. And you hit the little macro button. You say run, bam, and it just handles everything for you. So, right. so you can come out and check this out. He's got a little video here that shows you how to do it. But go to the spreadsheetguru.com, the exporter. Okay. Let, me yeah. get rid of, uh, let me get rid of this right here. Hold on a minute. We'll come back to me, um, I think. i got to learn how to do this. Back to you. All right, you got me again? Okay. Yep. Not so, you again. So, uh, go check it out. And if you got stuff like this too, just let us know. Send us an email yes. at, at, at news at exceltvshow.com. Oz, do you have anything? Yeah, I want to uh, here. Um, here we go. Let me get back to the. Uh, oh man, I showed this to y'all earlier. Oh, here. Okay. All right, so um, in the Excel Daily News, there was this very interesting comparison of Excel Online versus Google Sheets. And I really liked seeing this because there's a lot going on with Excel Online. And I'm disappointed that they came so late to the party because I was dealing with somebody recently who is very deeply entrenched with, it, with uh, Google but saw the power with Excel. So here is something that is showing here where the um, filter buttons are gone. They exist on Excel online, but they don't exist on the Google Sheets. The slicers, 
still are on Excel online and they work, but they are completely gone with Google Sheets. And then here are some basic things where things just got all crunched up. So mm -hmm. it's showing that they don't, they aren't compatible with each other. You can't make something really snazzy in Excel and then upload it to Google Spreadsheet and have it work. No. Um, so it's worth taking a look at this and seeing and exploring Excel online. Um, and here I'm coming. Okay, so this really got to be a big deal over the past couple of weeks because I'm working with this person that wanted dependent drop down lists. And there are easy, standard ways of doing it in Excel. But in Google Spreadsheet, it is clear that there are workarounds and not a, a, a defined way or an accepted way of creating dependent drop-down lists. Because I found timestamp tricks, uh, JavaScript, half-assed kind of works good enough kind of <laughs> solutions, but not really work. So, uh, yeah, check out Excel online because there's so much more power there than with Google Spreadsheet. And also, say you build a spread, build a dashboard in Google Spreadsheet, it works on Google Spreadsheet. If you embed it in a web page, it embeds as a static picture. It's not interactive. But you can embed a Google dashboard on a web page via Excel web app and it will work. So that is my news. So you know uh, usually Oz and, and Sylvia it's it's this time of the show where a cat would jump onto to Jordan's lap. I know. Where do we have any and, and I, I said you have humans. I, I have, have humans. Um, you have humans, have, not, not cats. That's awesome. I have a human. Uh, my my dear client Valerie, I'm helping her with some uh, Spreadsheets so she can keep track of her super famous band in Los Angeles. And oh, this guys are oh. putting her right. And this right. is um, another friend yeah, of the Lady show. Aster. Lady Say Aster. Hello. Hey there. Hey there. there. <laughs> My clients. We're a cat friendly show. <laughs> we're a cat friendly show. And uh, yeah, so. Um, Except for me. But you know, right. we have so many things to talk about. I don't know where I this behave is myself. You, Oz. Uh, last, last time I heard you talk about cats, you referred to them as groceries. That's right. <laughs> so, That's right. so, so we're moving on. Man, I tell you moving what. Moving right along. Don't cats, are smart. cats, I tell you what, cats are smart because yes, my are. Um, my uh, my father's side of the family is in the funeral business, and we have dealt with. People who started to be eaten by their cats because they died and the cats got hungry. See, the cats are smart. They know that you are groceries waiting for you to die, and then you you food. That's true. I've That's seen true. it. Excel TV just went to a very dark place. <laughs> um. so, uh, so, Sylvia, uh, any yeah. news from you? Um. Okay, so some a few things. I don't know the difference. First of all, the news is I don't know the difference between news and a shameless plug. So uh, I'm news, just news is more industry news. We'll get to the shameless plugs. So things is okay. more about you. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, because it's a little bit of both, but but we'll start with. Um, and I know you mentioned this a couple weeks ago, but um, just to drive home the point that I too got some honorable mention in the Mike Alexander meme contest. I had the distinct. Um, honor of not only being the the biggest nerd and just just because I think I submitted the most just volume wise it was like 9 or it 9 was or kind of crazy it. well you know yeah, like I nine. emailed them at the beginning and I was like you said there's no limit but really I have like 8000 of them seriously you know they've just been sitting on a powerpoint on my That's desktop wondering when they're going to make their debut and then the day finally came and so I got honorable mention as well as a uh, a place for the oh. for the in the final. So did you tell them? Did you say, nice. uh, you know, it, um, guys, um, Michael, you know, it really helped me if there was a limit to the number that I can send you. Yeah. <laughs> it would have helped it, 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 because it helped, I didn't. I, and I didn't send him the whole thing. I had to say I had to save some for you know 
who knows? I've got other things to do, Michael. There needs to be a limit to this. Um, yeah, so that, that was my big news. I'm also aware that um, our friend Bill Jelen is, is, uh, is doing a summit in Amsterdam. Oh. Do with that, that what, the information, what you will. Um, and, uh, yes, because I was in touch with him. Well, we'll wait till the shameless plugs before I tell you about that part. But All right. That's all my news.